Here's a kind of a bizarre question. Exactly what does school have to do with education? Here to raise and answer that question is Dr. Clark Gaither, who's the author of a book called The Graduate's Handbook, Your No-Nonsense Guide to What Comes Next. Welcome. Well, thanks, Joel. Thanks for having me. Now, what made you write this book? Not too long ago, I came upon a startling diagnosis. Our kids are not getting the education that they need or deserve. In mm -hmm. fact, I think our current educational system is committing educational malpractice. This from the mouth of a doctor. Yes. Learning is something that takes place in the classroom. Mm -hmm. But your education really begins outside the classroom, and it's living life. And that's something that the schools really are not preparing kids for these days. Not that you're saying kids shouldn't go to school or that they shouldn't go to college, but you are raising some questions about that. Absolutely. I think it's something to think about. I don't think every child needs to go to college, but those that do need to prepare themselves for what comes next. Mm -hmm. And that's really what my book is about. It's about what comes after graduating from, from college or high school even. On the other hand, I could look at you. You're a newly retired but very successful physician, formerly. You got a comfortable life now. Something must have gone right. You are a product of the educational system. Well, it wasn't always smooth sailing. Um, when I was in the sixth grade, my grades began to slip. Up until then, I had straight A's in every class. But the principal of my grade school called me and my parents in one day to have a little chat session. And he told my parents that they really expected too much of me, that I should probably be a house painter like my father. And I was sitting right there in the room, and my dad was sitting right there. That's in the what room. I was going to ask. It, it made me angry, but deep down inside, I must have owned some of that because for years, I really didn't think I had what it took in me to excel beyond my circumstances. And you were a successful physician. You were also, for a period of time, an alcoholic. What would you learn from alcoholism? I've had more than my share of struggles, but you know I've learned to embrace struggle. I actually got sober when I was a resident, training for a, to be a family physician. Mm -hmm. and, and while that's a, a big negative, I went from that to 12 years later, I was named Family Physician of the Year in my state of North Carolina. So it just shows you the power of my program of recovery. I don't think I would have ever gotten there mm -hmm. had I not gone through that struggle and come out on the other side much better off. And, you know, isn't it like that with a lot of the things that we go through, a lot it of is. our struggles and, and, and adversities? We look back on them as, as something bad, but if you consider your life and circumstances after, it's often you're much better off. I want to talk to you for a moment about college. Yes. Um, it's no secret that a lot of people have raised the question, is it worth it? I'm sure you could rattle off the names of a whole lot of successful people who never went to college. Oh, sure. Bill Gates, uh, Richard Branson, Steve Jobs. There you go. They all turned out pretty well without a degree. Pretty well, pretty well. So are you saying that college is not for everybody? I think it is a discussion worth having. I think clearly there, there are some kids in college who don't need to be there. They haven't yet decided what they want to be or what they want to do. And everything else I look at makes me question the validity of automatically sending everyone off to college. Everything from uh, graduates moving back in with their parents, they can't find a job, they're taking jobs outside their area of expertise or study, uh, and, and at what cost? That kids now are, uh, students now are graduating with mortgages and no house. They're called <laughs> well student loans. Well put, well put. All right, parents are going to give this book to their graduates. What's the one main lesson those young people are going to get from this book? Well, I've already touched on it, and that's embrace struggle. And, and don't be afraid of failure. Um, failure is something that's necessary. The road to success is never straight. The road to success goes through the gateposts of failure, always. All right. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us, Dr. Clark Gaither. Thank you.